Alright guys, um, this is my first narrated video. This episode of Fishing Planet is going to be a guide to sturgeon at San Joaquin Delta, and follow the exact steps that I give you and you will be catching as many sturgeon, having a net full, and making tons of money in no time. So, basically, you're going to want to start at peak time, day and night works, even though night works better. And then... When the sturgeon stop biting, after you get like five or six of them in a row, then you're going to want to skip an hour or two hours. That'll reset the bite. The bite. Alright, as you can see, I'm at night peak, but I'm going to start at day peak so I can show you guys exactly what to do. So, you're going to want to take out your rod stand if you have a rod stand. You don't need it to get sturgeon. Place it down. And then, you you can either pitch it up or down. I like it up. It's up to you. Uh, you're going to want to use spawn sacks and a 4 out hook. I'd recommend that you use a heavier rod like the heavy chasers with uh, ambush 900 sport as you can see. It doesn't have to be sport, it just has to be an ambush or reel. Um, spawn sacks, 4 out hook, sinker of your choice, preferably 7 ounce if you're using a heavy chaser. Now, you don't have to use titanium leaders, I just use them because it gives me that extra durability and strength, and, I, and it'll make sure that I don't lose that fish whatever I catch. So, as you guys can see, I'm at day peak right now. I'm going to cast out. I want to cast out 94 feet for the first marker. Hundred feet for the second marker. And then I'm using a float rod for my third marker, but that's when you cast out oh, looks like we got one. Alright. Now, you guys are going to want to use a stronger rod. Um, I'm using a 69 pound rod. Nice. LOL. But, um, as you can see, it's kind of clicking drag, but not so. Like, heavy chasers, the La Casadora rods are a good option. I'm using the La Casadora. Oh, I forgot to mention the spot. So you just want to you're going to want to spawn at Fishing the Beaver in San Joaquin. Now, in the comments, you guys, you can leave a comment letting me know if you guys want to see a guide on the striped bass here, but I'm going to turn off my mic and I'm just going to give you guys some gameplay.
Now remember guys, any tutorial that you would like for any lake, I have all of them except Maroon River, Makumaku Lake, and the Amazonian Maze one. I have every lake except that, so every lake except that one. So if you guys want a guide on fish at those, at those lakes, then you guys just leave them in the comments. I might make one for the striped bass, I'm not sure, I don't. I don't know, you guys are going to have to make me decide. But I just want to thank you guys for 1.5k views on my first Amazonian Maze video. It's a big achievement for me, thank you guys. Also forgot to mention, if you're looking for that little extra XP, like you're on an XP crunch, um, use barbless hooks. I think they give you something like 25% more XP, but I'm using barbless hooks right now to get that little extra, extra XP so I can level up. It's up to you guys. Now, also, the sturgeon bite day and night. They bite on both day and night peaks, but I would recommend fishing at night time. Now, if you ha you want to have an advanced license for San Joaquin Delta, if you want to fish at night time or else you get fined, I don't know why the hell, why. But, as you can see, I switched it tonight in hopes of getting some more sturgeon.
Sorry, excuse the guy that is going haywire with his motorboat. I know that sound can kind of get annoying, but it's just a part of the game. Now, as you can probably see right now that's on my screen, the sturgeon are more of a money fish than XP fish. They only give you, like, 600, 700, maybe 800 at the most of XP. That's why I use barbless hooks to get that 25% more. Everything's better. But they're more of a money fish. Like, just this one single fish gets me, like, $3,000. It's awesome. In, like, no time you'll have... Let me check... Yep, $16,000, and I only got six sturgeon. It's awesome, this lake. Now since they stopped now since they stopped biting, I'm gonna reel on both of my rods even though I just cast them out. I don't know why I did that, but since they stopped biting, I'm going to reel them in and then skip ahead an hour so it'll reset the bite clock for fishing planet. Now if you're gonna do this, the server Time skip cooldown it costs like one bait coin sometimes, so there's no cooldown period from 9 to 5 and in game, not real life time. But if it's but if it is not 9 or but if it's not in between 9 9 p.m. and 5 a.m., then there will be a cooldown and you have to spend one bait coin to forward time. I don't know why they'd made it like that. It's I don't understand why they had to do it like that, it's kind of annoying if you ask me. Now, if you're using float rods, then you're going to want your leader inch at 23 inches. I would recommend and prefer bottom rods. I don't know why bottom rods are just a lot easier and they seem to work better than float rods. I don't understand that aspect of the game, but yeah, if you're using float rods, you're going to want your leader inch at 20, uh, 20 inches. Sorry, excuse the phone call.
Alright guys, sorry about that phone call, I forgot I didn't have my phone on silent. Excuse my bad recording ethic, but I'm going to catch like two, three more sturgeon, then I'm going to stop recording. I don't want this to be forever because I know that the long videos are kind of debilitating and tiring to watch. See, just from those five or six sturgeon that I got, I got 16,000, and you can get... Sorry, I muted myself there. You can get an absolute butt-ton of money. It's awesome, this game, how much money you can get from San Joaquin Delta and sturgeon. Ooh, nice, new personal best, 55 pound white sturgeon. Dude, that's awesome. The, the 50, mid 50s, mid 50s, like 55 pounds, I'm pretty sure is the biggest they get. They don't get that big poundage wise, but these guys are pure muscle, so it's kind of hard to reel them in if you have those lower end rods. But anyway, guys, Thank you for watching this video, and please share this with your friends, like, and subscribe. Xavier out.